All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers. Welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video to stay tuned on in towards the end of the video because we have a lot to cover. And I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys that you won't want to miss and you definitely want to add to your watch list. So stay tuned on in for all that information has to do with the EV sector. It's pulled back, showing signs of consolidation and strength. And we want to see if it pulls back a little bit more or if it shows itself to stay strong before the next catalyst. So stay tuned for that. So here we are with SNDL stock Sundial Growers Inc. And it's been pulling downwards, right? Hit a high up here of 179. Try to fight right back to it at 174. And since then, it's been rejected twice. And the most recent low before this second run here was 139, which we were looking at to see. And if that got broken through, this would signify that the stock would hit newer lows. Well, we broke through it and it's hit newer lows. So now we need to look at this from a broader perspective and look at this narrowed in to understand where the stock stands and what can continue to happen if it pulls back more. So. The first thing I want you guys to be aware of is the fact that the next support level is right here at 125. If the support level we're about to discuss gets broken through and then the next one beyond that is down here at 110. I want you guys to keep those two numbers in mind if this bearish reaction continues. Now the stock has done really well to stay above a dollar but right now it's getting closer to a dollar than ever. So the 50 day moving average is 142. Anything below that is bearish. Anything above that is bullish. Well, we've been in bearish territory since the 18th and we're sitting down here at 131. So our support here is 128. Okay. I want every single investor and viewer to be aware of that. 128 needs to be broken through if the bears continue to pull it down. And if the bulls can stop it from being broken through, then they need to focus on the resistance. But right now, the bulls are going to try their best to do that. And that needs to be broken through for the bears to continue this leverage of the downward direction. So our first support here is 128. You want to watch this carefully. Watch it how it reacts between 128 and the next support. And all the way down to 110 within those areas. You want to dissect the chart as much as possible to see if the bulls are trying to reappear and bring it back up or are the bears tearing this one down super super important to watch now the stock is sitting at 131 and there's a resistance level here of 132 it's so close and since this is all bearish territory that would just be a sign of momentum but it won't really give us any insight on what's going on so the 50 day moving average 142 very important to be broken through i'd watch for that moving forward but there's a point right here where the bulls and the bears were fighting. And you could see right there as a midway point. This kind of just turned into like a sideways movement before the next dip. And that point right there, you could see that the bulls tried to fight hard. And I would use this one point right here, the peak, as the resistance. And that's 137. This is an informal resistance based off of the price action and how bearish this was. 137 needs to be broken through but i do want every single investor and viewer to be aware that the bulls don't gain control truly and leverage until they end up back through the bullish territory of the 50-day moving average and then get into it by pushing upwards to newer highs and new resistance levels that's just an indicator to let us know where the stocks are going and where the momentum is picking up as always if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned to the end because the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is in the EV sector. And when you invest for tomorrow, no pun intended, you're investing for the future and these stocks the prices that they're at now, if they're really going to grow at the rates that many analysis ratings say and articles say, we may not see these prices again. So you definitely want to start watching these as closely as possible 
if the market pulls back a little bit more or if there's just a kind of a sideways movement for some time and that could be an opportunity for investors to analyze research these stocks and better understand them because ev is the future as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow and to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers welcome back and all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and stay tuned on in for all that we have to cover let's jump right into it so i have here the website to charge point chpt stock and i definitely recommend every single viewer and investor to go check it out it'll tell you much more information on the company but i love their slogan right here the electric revolution is here and that is so true it is here it's just getting started and you want to be aware that when you're investing in the EV sector, whether it's the cars or the charging stations, you're investing in the future. So it's going to take time to see your returns really grow to their full potential. Now, a lot of investors will look at this chart and say, well, we're sitting at $24 and it hit a high here of $50. Yeah, it hit a high there because of the speculation and hype because of the merger. This is a SPAC merger. You always want to remember that. But Charging Point has an opportunity to get a market share and a piece of the pie of the bigger picture so i mentioned this one over at the patreon this weekend and this is what i said and if you guys want to know what stocks i'm watching weekly you can join us over at the patreon it will be down below the link in the comment section it'll be the pinned comment that i'll have there down below so i basically said everyone focuses on the ev car makers but forget to focus on the source that can give the ev cars the fuel and drive it needs to perform its purpose which are charging stations charge point is one to watch especially that we saw it in the most recent pullback how it reached below twenty dollars it reached nineteen dollars i posted about a snapshot of the chart which you can see up here if it can reach below those numbers or touch them again it will be something to pay close attention to charge point is not the industry leader but it will get its piece of the pie when it comes to the market share in charging stations Okay, that's going to be a big deal in the future. This is the future gas stations. You always want to remember what is going to give the fuel to these EV cars. And it's these charging stations. Yes, you can charge from home, but charging stations will charge cars much faster. And as batteries get more improved and developed, they're going to become so much better that you can actually stop at a charging station and not feel like you're stuck there for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Now, this is my question to those of you that own an EV car or know someone that owns an EV car. And I want to ask you guys, how dreadful is it to stop at a charging station right now in these times? I know people that have stopped and then they do like little, you know, story stories on their Instagram or Snapchat and they go ahead and they post, man, we all hate ourselves or like they post something like just being sarcastic. And it's a whole line of Teslas at a Tesla charging station just waiting for their cars to charge which takes about 30 minutes to 40 minutes when charging stations can start charging in five to ten minutes it's going to change the game and not only that but people charge at home because they have time to charge at home because they go to work they come back they leave it charging overnight and at some point that's going to get kind of redundant and it won't be necessary anymore when charging stations will be out there you can just stop and get your five minute charge and it's going to give you enough for the next day or next two days instead of charging slowly at home and it's just going to be a shift there's going to be a transition once batteries get improved charging stations get improved and the time becomes less and less it's just going to be so much more convenient than having to charge overnight and especially if you're traveling it's going to be so much more convenient so that's going to be a big deal charge point is going to have a piece of its pie so definitely check out the website that is one thing i do recommend so you could see everything about it and i also want to pull up here another picture of a screenshot that i took and a lot of people would probably be a little bit concerned about their financials and that's why i stated earlier this is where you need to realize that you are investing right in the future and chargepoint is an electric vehicle infrastructure company based in campbell california chargepoint operates the largest online network of independently independently owned ev charging stations operating in 14 countries and makes the technology used in it 
So, I want you guys to be aware that they're the largest online network, but they're not the largest charging stations, okay? There's other companies that it's competing with, but like I said, it's going to get its piece of the pie. The financials right now will never look so strong because like I said earlier, how many people do you guys know that feel that dreadfulness when it comes to charging their cars? Now, my other question is, how many people do you know that own an EV car? Do you own an EV car? And that's where you got to realize that you're investing in something that hasn't even maximized its potential yet. It's just getting started. So this is the time to start watching this stock. I mean, the closer it gets anywhere below $20, the more attractive I believe it looks. This does have potential. We already saw it reach up to 50. It can for all that. It can probably break out through that in the near future but you know one thing is you need to be prepared to always believe that you're investing in the future you're not investing in now you know you got to think about how many people own cars and how many people need charging stations right now but then you also got to think well how many people will own ev cars and will need charging stations not now but later and that's where you're going to find out why this has so much potential and this is definitely a stock you need to have on your watch list moving forward. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.